I'm meteorologist Bo Beth Yates and another cold front making its way through the area. This one packed with a lot of gusty Arctic winds. Temperatures will struggle to keep into the 50s today and even a little bit warmer in Marathon and Key West. And look at the seven day. We're seeing a 59 overnight lows make it into the 30s. Well, Carly, that cool down began, and I'm going to have to be like some of those Floridians that take out the heavy jacket and the beanie, even though the temperatures are just dropping just a bit. <laughs> you know how we get when it starts to get it cool here. Well, today started off super ominous with a lot of cloud cover. We even had a couple showers pop up, but that quickly moved through the area as we saw the cooler temperatures start to make its way in. Well, it's just cold. Yeah. <laughs> for South Florida. For, not for South Florida. The entire East Coast is expensive experiencing this Arctic blast and we are definitely the coldest we've seen in almost a decade. Now look at this camera just shaking. That's because of the winds, but temperatures are also pretty cool. By 11 o'clock, you can see much of the western area and parts of Metro Atlanta starting to experience rain. That rain chance will continue overnight by 2 a.m. The heaviest rainfall around Metro Atlanta and we will continue to see that make its way overnight. The good thing is it's overnight, so not a lot of people will be on the road but it will be soggy when you wake up in the morning and the heat index just has you hot just looking at the number is making me hot it's 103 it feels like 103 with the heat index so you might want to enjoy that gorgeous view from the inside of your home and not actually outside thank you so much for this amazing picture and if this is your view at your house I need to be invited over because that is amazing. I need to see that in person. Actually, yes, I'll call it refreshing. Okay, all right. I'll <laughs> go with refreshing if that's what you like. <laughs> I'm going to go with cold. Arctic breeze making its way all the way to West. And we're warming up just a bit, only making it, though, to 53. 52 for Fort Lauderdale, 62 for Key West. Much of Broward and Dade and Monroe County hovering around that 52, 53 degree mark to our south. A little bit warmer for Marathon, 58, 62 for Key West. And again, we're seeing temperatures kind of just hanging around that 50 degree mark. Even though that sun is out, we're only going to make it up to about 59 by the afternoon. Part of that is the gusty winds that are continuing to make its way through the area. Now, what you want to pay attention to is Sunday morning. Overnight temperatures making it to about 39 degrees. Those wind gusts will continue. The winds will die down as we go through the day, and the sunny conditions won't help much, though. We're going to see those wind speeds continue to cool us down. Right now, wind speeds hovering around 15 to about 23 miles per hour earlier. We got up to about 30. Look at the gust, sometimes gusting up to 37 in Pembroke Pines, 35 in Pompano Beach, 32 for Homestead and also for Miami. Now those winds is really what's kind of driving our cooler temperatures. With the winds, we're seeing temperatures feel like about 20 degrees cooler. Now without it, we're supposed to be hovering around the upper 50s to our south about upper lower 60s. Now this is what's happening as those wind speeds come in. We're seeing that Arctic breeze continue to make its way in town. And as it does, we're going to start transitioning over around 6 p.m. As we transition over, we're going to see the sun go down and we're going to go from 50s to 40s to 30s. Yes. 30s. Now there is a freeze watch in effect because as we go for Broward, Dade, and um, much of the inland areas, we could get close to that 32 degree mark. Now again, this is just a watch because we're getting so close into the 30s, letting people know that things could freeze. You want to keep your pipe running just a little bit, just in case you have those metal pipes that should freeze over. Now, in addition to the freeze watch, we have a wind chilled watch in effect. Now with the cold temperatures plus those gusty winds, it's going to feel a lot cooler. Again, about 20 degrees cooler. Now, for that means, you want to have not have any exposed skins. Make sure you're covered at all times, and if you have the ability to lotion up. Now, on the marine forecast, we're seeing gale warning in effect. Look at the seas, three to six feet, and then into our extended forecast. Oh, man, that 38 degree Sunday, and then Monday, we're going to warm up just a bit, but not very much. By the end of the week, we'll be getting a little bit more sunshine and Keith I get to put the jacket away. <laughs>